say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I know we're going to try to make this sermon a little short because some people have to go to the bathroom because there's been problems there. So I hope you will learn more from this lesson. So the title is what? Don't change yourself. Be like what? And it's just one simple verse. Romans chapter 12, verses 2. Then. So, what am I supposed to do? What do I need to do? You're already a Christian. You've been baptized. And now, what do you do? That's many people question. Then. When you already become a Christian, one simple thing that God asked for you to do. Don't change yourself to be the same like the people of this world, but let God change you inside with a new way of thinking. Then you will be able to understand and accept what God wants for you. You will be able to know what is good and pleasing to Him and what is perfect. Many people always ask, what is perfect? Perfect first. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. I was taught by that, this verse, by a very good man who himself was an elder. The reason passed about, passed away about a year ago. And he's always teaching me all the time. But I'm glad that I'm able to share this offer with you. So, don't change yourself. What's the perfect example? Let's find out. Thanks. Bruce Jenner. He himself won many, many medals in 1976. Three. Three. Where's three? Sorry. <laughs> Bible, 
not open. Still thing. Stop. You've collected all the dust. Have you opened your bottle? Or is it like this? Or the newspaper has not been opened. Why is you at home? Are you curious about the world? Leave it there and go to church. Or you leave your bottle bottom of the plate. It's thick, dust. Next. Church work? It's not done? I know church work is not fully done yet. Maybe in your house it's not clean. Oh, no, I'm, I'm not finished with my work. I need to build this, I need to build that, I need to paint. Maybe you're missing a good Bible class. Some of you come on Wednesday. Some of you don't. See, the numbers last Wednesday was 17. They grew a little bit. I think we can make it grow more and more. Maybe you're missing your favorite TV program. Oh, church, Bible study, I'll watch my favorite. Time to go to church. Come on, man. finish. Drop to church. I'm here. Maybe in your collection. Maybe your money giving back to God is blessed. Or is your SSI increasing? Or your pay rate? What about your children? Get up! Get up! Five more minutes, Mama. But gotta get up. Gotta ready for Sunday school. Sunday school, twenty more minutes, please. Maybe not late for Sunday school or church or public school. I understand education is important, but education right there. God, right there. Which follows you the most? All the church things that I read follow me the most. Where's the love you have? Where's the love that we have here in this world? Next. The meaning of changing with the world. There can be ways that the world will use you to change you with the world. Top three ways of what? Material. Money. Clothes. Maybe popular. Power. Imagine Donald Trump. He is self rich. He said he wants to run for president. I laughed at myself and I said, it seems wonder like that. He can buy the White House and say, this is my home now. I don't want to change. I don't want to become like Donald Trump. Pleasure. That's the problem with our young kids today. Some of you don't know. If you don't watch TV or if you don't read newspaper, there's a 14-year-old boy who killed a girl and is now wanted. The most top 14-year-old boy who killed, first murdered a girl. Why is that happening? Because he's influenced by his friends. He's influenced by doing things he enjoys. 
You have a child that watches you. That ain't drinking beer. Beer or whiskey. I can do the same. Oh, mama smoking. I can do the same. Mom and dad doing drugs. I can do the same. That needs to stop. There are children here today that are facing the big challenge. What? Bully. We need to help this world. We need to help each other. Not to change. Not to be involved in this world. Some of you may be missing service. Your child says, Mama's not going to church. I'm not going to church. Mama's arriving late to church. I'm right late to church. No. No. There are ways that we can change only for God. Two, most what? We can resist the pressure to change. Mama saying, go on and play. And your child's playing outside and he found the gun. And see here, people are killing me. I need to kill someone to be involved in a game. That's a lot of pressure. Baby is involved in drugs. Try it. Come on. Don't, don't get excited. Like you'll, oh, you'll like it. Enjoy it. You'll have, you'll have fun. That's a lot of pressure. We need to stop thinking and acting like the world. We need to help each other. If you see a brother or sister who are hurt or lost, you need, we need to help them. When I lived in Alabama, I saw a brother walking in into a liquor store. I stood there and I said, that's my brother in Christ and he was off his step and he's going in the liquor store. So, what I do? Do the same thing. Walk right inside, as the writing. Fine. Look right, brother. Oh, there he is. Hey. Oh, don't break it. You're not supposed to be here. You can't be here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No. I'm not here to buy whiskey. No. What are you here for? Uh, what's your excuse? Okay. Put it back and walked out to the store. Later, rumors happened. The elder and the deacon pulled me into a room saying, Did you go into a whiskey store? Yes. Why? I was there to save a brother in Christ. Really? Oh. I don't want him to change like this world. There's too many drunks. Too many people who are sleeping together. Too many people who get involved in drugs. Bad things. Don't change yourself into this world. <coughs> don't. Next. This world almost under Satan's control. And it's very harmful <clears throat> to us, Christians, brothers, and sisters. Christ died to rescue us from this world. And we should always ask this very important question. One of the most popular I've known since I was a little kid. Guess what that question is? Always seen on bracelets. Always seen on signs. Next. What would Jesus do?
that's the most important question you would ask yourself. What would Jesus do if he saw me doing this? What would Jesus do if he saw someone else doing this? Imagine that. Sometimes I have to keep myself reminding myself. I said, I need to go to store and buy what would Jesus do bravely. So every time when I see something, I feel, oh, don't touch me. If you're thinking bad thoughts, look. If you're about to criticize each other, look. If you're about to do drugs, better slow quickly. I'm not talking about this church. I'm talking to everyone out in the world also. Okay. And finally, how can we change for God? We must hear the word of God. Romans chapter 10 and 17. We also must believe that Jesus did die for us. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, and John chapter 3, verse 16, you need to repent and turn around. Don't go. So that way, turn. Go back to God. You must do that. In Acts chapter 17, verse 30. You must confess. You don't need to say, I did this, I did drugs, I did this, I did this. No. You need to confess that Jesus is truly the Son of God. Jesus and God already know what you've done. In Matthew 16, 16, you need to be baptized. In Acts chapter 2, 38, for the remission of your sins. In Revelation, Satan will put you to test. He will test every one of you. But at the end of the verse, it says, remain faithful until death. Test yourself right now. Are you involved in this world? Then you need to repent. Or, I'm I'm at peace. I'm good. I'm good. Peace. You're not perfect. God knows everything inside of your heart. If you need help, if you need pray. We will not criticize you. We will help you and we will pray for you. So please be brave for God. Don't be brave for the world. <laughs>